Stop. Do you want to know how to cut the perfect pixie? In my chair today, we've got Saffron. She's going for a really big change. Her starting point is a mid-length bob, quite a lot of layers, and we're going to take her down to something that's a really cool, short pixie. And I'm going to show you a technique that you're going to be able to do on a daily basis on your salon clientele. Saffron brought in a collection of images for me to see. And the first one that you can see now gives you an idea of the choice of length through the top, and especially on the sides with that element of softness over the year. The one that I'm looking at now gives me an idea of more the fringe length. So I'm moving the hair away from Saffron's face. I'm looking at her eye area and the cheekbone area, just really checking the suitability. I'm gonna be starting Saffron's haircut on top. And my first section is directly in the middle from the back towards the front hairline. And the lengths that I'm cutting within section number one are all the same length, making sure all of the root is coming straight out from its base. Because I want my lengths to stay the same from the center towards the roundness of the head, my movement of sections is gonna be forwards and backwards. So my previous section moves forwards, my new section moves backwards so they meet in the middle. So the effect is that is that my lengths will stay more consistent. As you can see, I'm trying to work as clean as possible, grooming excess hair cleanly out of the way, and also making sure to only have two sections in my hand at one time. So my previous section and the new section I'm about to cut. And oh, I think Saffron's just noticed how short we've gone. To connect the top into the sides, I've taken a vertical section and I'm cutting a length from shorter to longer on the roundness of the head. As I want my lengths to stay more consistent horizontally, I'm using the same movement of sections as I did previously on top, which is forwards and backwards. And again, I'm using clean sections and making sure that I've only got two sections in my hand at one time. As I work towards the front, I'm combing the hair down to its natural fall and visually checking and seeing how the hair is sitting before I move into the back. Using the length over the ear as a guide, my lengths continue to get shorter towards the hairline. I'm gonna be taking parallel sections and the movement of my sections is gonna stay the same from the top and the sides because I want my lengths to stay more consistent horizontally. The only difference you're gonna be seeing is that my sections slowly begin to pivot as I reach the center. Moving on to the blow dry, my main goal is to get all of the hair sitting at natural fall. To achieve this, I'm using a hair dryer without a nozzle, and I'm also using a combination of our vest brush and my hands to move the hair around. Now the hair's dry, I'm gonna be using a scissor over comb technique. The reason I'm using this is because I want to remove some of the excess length at the hairline so it blends in really nicely with the hair above the occipital bone. I'm working in columns from the hairline up, making sure that my scissors and comb move in unison, and I'm going to continue working in columns until just behind the ear. Visually checking as I'm working, allowing the comb to move through the hair and allow the hair to sit back down in natural fall. Notice as I'm working, my combs keep changing. So I start with a wider tooth comb and then my comb moves down to more of a finer tooth. And finally, I end up using a barbering comb. I stretch Saffron's neck so it allows me to rest the blade of the scissor onto her neck and remove any excess neck hair. Using the points of the scissors to detail the hairline, allowing the hair to fall at natural fall, stand back and visually assess the lengths. Using my left hand to control the fringe area, I'm placing my scissors at more of an angle so I'm removing length but also leaving almost like a jagged look on the fringe. On the hairline at the front, I'm opening up the eye socket by again using the blades of the scissors just to chip away in this area.
using a pointing technique so my scissors are parallel to the hair so I remove weight not length and again more of a freehand chipping technique in the interior of the haircut using quite a strong wax to move the hair around to create texture and a very soft spray wax to set the hair Uh, we're gonna say like, subscribe, like, like, share, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Why don't you come in? You know, show us how it's done, like both of you. That's a really and good then idea. Then we'll come back, and then we'll, we'll replicate. That is such a good idea.